What is up guys, so Oaksgamer here, welcome to Hardcore Iron Man Road to Max Episode 8. I'm starting this episode off here at Sand Crabs. I am actually gonna leave soon, I am just here just for a bit. I just wanna say some things real quick. What I'm gonna be doing in this episode is, I'm gonna try to grind out that Slayer Helm. It's gonna be a really nice item to get really early on. As you guys see here, my skills are kinda low, like my skilling skills. The reason is because the way I'm playing this Hardcore Iron Man is defense first, so I'm getting up my stats, like my combat stats. So, to make sure that I won't die early on, because I don't want to go get like 99 fire making and then just die like next week due to like some boss killing me. So, my plan is just to get to high defense and then go into uh, more skilling so I get my total level up. Just completed my lesser demon task. Not my favorite task, but overall it is decent XP. Let's go see what I get next. Wow, 162 Hellhounds. This is a really good task. Good XP and a good chance of getting hard clue scrolls. I just gotta be careful because I could possibly die. Nice, just hit 69 strength, one more level till 70, then I can switch to attack style. Hey, landed my first clue of this task. Hopefully we can complete it. Ah, rip. Cannot complete it. I need to get myself some rune boots. Which is not going to happen anytime soon. Wow, very nice. Another hard clue scroll coming in. That makes it my second clue this task. I finally completed this Hellhounds task. It took me over two hours to do it. That's really long for a task. The reason why it was so long is because Hellhounds are level 122 and I'm only level 80 with mediocre skills. I am very close to level 70 strength, which is really cool because it's going to be my first ever level 70 on my hardcore Iron Man. Now, for the clue scroll, I cannot complete it. In order for me to complete it, I have to do Cabin Fever. So I might hold on to it until I do complete Cabin Fever. For the next task, I get 136 Cal Fights. A really fast and easy task. Now, there's two things I can do. Go kill the big ones for a lot better drops, because I'm pretty sure they do drop rune items and some runes and herbs and all that stuff. But, I will be killing those small ones because it does speed up the task which means I'll get points faster. I'm really just trying to grind out some points so I can go unlock that Slayer Helmet. Also want to unlock Broadbolt and Slayer Rings in the future. So the plan is for now, just grind out as many points as I can. And by the way, I'm going to be killing these cow fights in the Stronghold Slayer Cave. Very nice, just hit my first ever level 70 skill on my hardcore Iron Man. 70 strength, now I'm going to go train up my attack till 70, and then get 70 defense. The next task is 127 Banshees. This is a really good task. It does give you a lot of herbs and it is very fast to complete. Once I do complete it, I will come back and see what we get for the next task. Just completed my Banshees task and damn it gives so much herbs and pure essences. This is my second Banshees inventory this task. So you can imagine how many herbs and pure essences I got during the task. In total, I now have 556 pure essences. It isn't that much, but it does add up over time. I'm trying to get a lot more before doing some rune crafting. I want to try to get uh, level 14 so I can do fire runes to level 27. And then just do cosmic runes so I can get some runes for charging orbs for uh, crafting in the future. I should really go kill those big banshees and the Zaya catacombs like what a friend did in his video. The reason why I didn't go do that is because I really want to just grind out points first. I know it is a lot better to do the task there, but I just want to try to grind out points so I can get that Slayer Helm as fast as possible. Also, forgot to show you how many herbs I got now. Let me just bank all of these. But we got a good amount of herbs stacking up. We got some Guams, which are good for attack pots. And I got 22 Ranars in here, so 22 Prayer Pots. Okay, amount of seeds, nothing too crazy, but it is stacking up. Over time, I will have a lot more. If you are wondering, I now have 280 rewards points, so that means I only need 120 to get that Slayer Helmet. Let's go and check what we get for the next task. And we get 170 Blue Dragons. Eh, it's not too bad. I could go get my magic up. And I didn't tell you guys, but I did hit 55 magic, which is really nice. I do need one more level for Family Christ, so I can just boost up and complete the quest like that. So I might go to Blue Dragons and AFK there for a bit for some nice magic and prayer levels. I got some seeds in the bank, so I decided to just come here and get some farming supplies. So I can just go and do some farming while I do Slayer. 
Just just trying to be efficient so I can get 37 farming as fast as possible. So then I can go do cabin fever and finish that clue and also be able to get that black mask. 56 magic has now been achieved. Nice. I decided to go finish off the task on BB Blue Dragons. I was AFKing the big ones earlier so I can go do my homework and get some Slayer XP. Time to go check and see what I get next. Next task is 145 trolls. I don't really like this task. I cannot skip it because I am saving up points and it is not worth spending 30 points on skipping it. Let's go complete this. I'm going to be killing them in Berthope. I finally completed the trolls task. I really dislike it. At the end of the day, it is still okay XP though. After the trolls task, I get 20 wall beasts, good XP, and a very fast task. Someone in the comments gave me a tip on wall beasts. I honestly forgot their name. Sorry about that, but you do know who you are. So this tip is really simple. All you do is kill this one, climb up the rope, and then you climb back down. This will reset the wall beasts so you don't have to run around the whole cave. You can just keep killing the same exact one. This is really helpful. Thank you for telling me that. There we go. I completed 30 tasks in a row for 50 Slayer points. Let's go back to the Slayer Master and see how many points I have now. I now have 350 reward points, 50 more for a Slayer Helmet. There are three items I'm looking at here. We got the Slayer Rings, which is 75 crafting and 300 points. I could unlock this, but the thing about it is I'm not trying to go grind out 75 crafting right now. There are also Broad Bolts. Broad Bolts are really good, but I don't have any sort of crossbow. Once I do get a Rune Crossbow, I'll definitely get this. And this is probably the best thing right now is to get the Slayer Helmet because I only need 55 crafting and I'm not too far away from getting it. All I gotta do is just get 5 more tasks done for 50 points and then just go grind out Cabin Fever and get that Black Mask. For the next task, I get 156 jellies. Jellies are really well known for hard clue scroll drops. What I'm doing right now is just dropping my clue scroll to juggle it. Because you never know, I might not get a clue scroll this task, and it's better to have one than nothing at all. And I really hope I do get a new clue scroll, and hopefully I could actually complete it. Because I do want to get a Magic Sherpo and a Black Dehyde top. Very nice, I got myself a clue scroll. I have to juggle my old hard clue scroll just in case. And I can do the first step, hopefully we can complete this whole one. If we can, then we can maybe get some nice loot out of it. Finish this task and hit 67 HP in 82 combat. That's pretty cool. Time to go and try to complete this clue scroll. Before we do that, let's go check what I get next. And for the next task, I get 128 Pyre Fiends. Uh, okay task. I'm really surprised I completed this clue. Let's open it up. And I get a rune plate body and some money. I guess it is pretty good. It could be a lot worse. Nice, just finish this task and hit 56 Slayer while doing it. Aw, uh, not again. The next task is 117 trolls back to Berthope. Boom, trolls task is completed. Finally. Aw, oh, damn it. Just got 42 iron dragons. I'm not even gonna try this task because I don't have any good stab weapons or any anti fires. If I did do this task, it would take me hours to complete it. I guess it is time to go reset my Slayer task. I'm going to start training up my farming. I have some seeds here and there. I'm going to go try to get 37 for Rumdeal. I know Rumdeal needs 40. I'm getting 37 so I can boost 3 levels for it. It's a lot better like that in my opinion. Just hit 22 farming. also have an XP book in my inventory. That I'm going to be using on it. At level 25 farming, I can go do the quest Garden of Tranquility, which will give me a lot of farming XP. If you are wondering, this is how you reset a Slayer task. You go to Berthope and talk to Turiel, the Slayer Master, and simply ask for a new task. He will reset your Slayer streak, but will assign you with a very easy task. So just complete five of his tasks and then go back to your normal Slayer Master. This is a really good method to do because it saves you a lot of Slayer points. Another helpful thing is inside the Warriors Guild there's a potion shop that sells normal attack, strength, and defense pots. I'm gonna go stack up on a bunch of attack pots for my Dragon Battle Axe since I am running low on attack pots right now. Didn't take too long to complete 5 tasks from Turiel. 
The next task is 112 Bloodveld. This is a very nice task. Good XP and good clues. Very nice. Just hit 70 attack. Almost 58 Slayer now. Time to switch my combat style to defense so I can turn it up to level 70 for Barrel's gear. I really enjoyed this task. Good XP, but sadly didn't get any clue scrolls. Time to check what I get for the last task. By the last task, I mean I'm just 10 points away from unlocking the ability to craft a Slayer Helmet. And the final task is 120 Greater Demons. Decent task. I like this a lot better than Lesser Demons. Yes, I just got myself a Hard Clue Scroll. Let's go try to complete it. This might sound dumb, but in order to complete this Hard Clue Scroll, I have to go to level 50 Wilderness. I don't care, I know I'm bringing my rune pouch, but if I die, I die. Um, I'm basically risking the whole account if I go there. But, let's try to do this, it is time to risk it for the biscuit. I was actually really scared doing it. You guys thought I would go alone? Come on, I got my own main, I would never go alone, that is really dumb. I'm not trying to risk this whole series just like that. Since I'm already in Mage Bank, might as well buy some runes. Going to spend some money on Cosmic, Laws, and Nature runes. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. So, I just risked my whole account and I cannot complete this clue? Ah, oh, come on. Well played, Jagex. You got me good this time. Well played. Right now, I'm AFKing some lobsters and landed myself a hard clue scroll. Let's go do it. And rip. I can't do it. I need to go complete Regicide for it. Wow, the clue luck. Just got an elite clue scroll here at Lobsters. Definitely not going to be able to complete this anytime soon. And yeah, of course, the first requirement is level 100 combat. Going to wait this one out, I guess. Sorry it took so long to put out this video. I've been sick for the last couple of days. I don't normally swear, but I felt like shit. I would hop on RS for like maybe an hour and just get bored. Because I didn't feel like playing. And also, I've been focusing a lot on school lately. Follow you guys doing your finals. Good luck on it. Also, want to give a quick shout out to Cyber Fluffy for being my first ever Patreon. I really do appreciate you supporting my channel. You know, even a couple dollars help because it helps me get closer to paying for my computer setup. The reason why I want a better setup is because so in the future when I'm making videos, I'll be more comfortable. So if it sounds like I'm begging, I'm honestly not. I'm just saying that it is really thoughtful of Cyber Fluffy. I honestly didn't expect anyone to be my Patreon. I really do appreciate it, like honestly. Now if you guys want to support me, there will be a link to my Patreon in the description below. If you are wondering, the money will be spent on finishing up my computer setup, which I just said. Now, if you don't know what Patreon is, it's a way to support YouTube creators. Don't worry, it is 100% safe. It is used a lot around YouTube. Also, forgot to say this, but I will be releasing a new Normal Iron Man Road to Max episode soon. Let me just say, the gains are insane. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Let's smash that like button so my channel can get out there. Let's go for 150 likes this video. If we can, that would be insane. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thank you.